to break what she think about this. For me, would have been I'm more tempted to leave because I know I can survive on my own. Yeah. Right. There were times that we stayed together because we couldn't survive without each other. This Absolutely. is the truth. It won't love. It won't. You know, it was like, dang, I ain't I can't afford to leave. We we going to have to work it out. We got We stuck. And <laughs> throughout that time, we just fell back in love. Yeah. But there were times when we absolutely were not in love with each other. We loved each other, but being in love is completely different. Yes. There were times we did not like each other. There was times that and, you wouldn't even know we was married. Yep. Walking by each other. But we could not afford to leave each other. Mm-hmm. Listen, you so couldn't even afford ask. to be tempted. All I say is, is that that's a good good thing of uh teamwork. They stuck to the end with that one. Mm-hmm. To me, I mean, I don't. Yeah. I, that's what I take from it. It was like they went in with a plan, and and, and it's like one tried to stray. Like, no, this is what it is. You know, we went into this like this. It's like they automatically had this like team thing about it to me. So, so I'm gonna ask you. They said they couldn't divorce because they was broke. Do uh-huh. you think they probably would have went through if they had the money? Mm-hmm. And do you think a lot of people together because they can't file them papers? They, they broke. <laughs> do I think they would have got divorced if they didn't have a, <laughs> if they were at the status? That's what I'm saying. Do you think if they had the money to file for divorce? Because you know they said they was too oh. broke to file. Yeah. Do you think they would have went through it? And do you think a lot of people are still together because they broke? Yes. Oh, pass it to me. Pass me the ball, coach. Honestly, okay, I'm I'm gonna take it. Honestly, I feel like if they did have the money, they probably would have. Just being realistically speaking, Uh but there's also this little part of me that's nagging and saying that they still had this little thing of teamwork, like they, you know, how attachment, like they just Mm -hmm. attached to each other. You know, what I'm saying regardless of nothing. You know, if they had the money or not, like we went into it as a team. So that's how I'm looking at it. But so you just think they're just probably just part of the circumstance. And was, probably was yes. the reason why they stayed there because they, and that's probably why they wanted to file divorce because of the money too. Yeah. Because that's the number one reason people get divorced is money. It's money mm-hmm. And yeah. if y'all's that broke, you can't file for divorce. That is crazy. Because yeah. divorce, honestly, Ain't that expensive? Uh uh-uh. uh. $750. Yeah. yeah. It ain't, it ain't that expensive. Yeah. Alex, 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 what you got to say? What you got? Okay, this is why y'all grandmas and y'all grandpas stayed together so long because they were too broke. It, it was not <laughs> physically possible for a woman to vote. It, it didn't make no sense for a woman to divorce a man. We didn't, we couldn't do shit. Now, I will say, when they, when Tabitha and them say they were too broke, yes, it's seven hundred and fifty dollars to do it. But do you know what the lim- the limitations are in certain states? Georgia makes you go through divorce counseling, and it's yeah. even harder when that you have a true. kid. I know because my parents tried to. I've had several fa- friends who tried to in Georgia, but it is hard. So different states is different strokes. Damn, you gonna put it all on me? I'm sorry. Damn. It's okay. Could I add something to this? Right, because you're the married man. Go ahead. Yeah, because I that's a true statement because me and my wife, we uh filed for divorce on three different occasions. And okay, hear him. I can hear. Yeah, I can hear. I hear. Okay, go ahead. And honestly, we we were too poor to break up because we both needed both our incomes, but like the 30 days. Before it's finalized, we always called it off. We always called it off, but um, I ain't going to lie. Right now, I think the struggles we went through, everything we went through has made us so much stronger because she was really there for me when I had a lot of health problems, and I've been there when she had health problems, and, man, I, I don't want nobody else. Yeah, But we had to go through all this hell mm-hmm. to get where we at now. And I joke with her all the time. I said, baby, I get a million dollars. I'm going to give you half. And if you leave me, I understand. But I don't even think she'll leave me. And I'm, I know I'm not going to leave her. Okay. What did you I, say, bro? Oh. Unless you take a picture with Chris Brown. I'm with you. Oh, all right. Can I can I go real quick? You can go ahead, bro. Um, I feel like 
when people are too broke to get divorced, I feel like that's the reason they're broke. And the re and I say that because everything happens for a reason. I feel like people that's too broke to get a divorce is meant to be together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I say that because, like I said, everything happened for a reason. Like you, like, and, and I'm a Christian. I believe in I believe in God. You know what I'm saying? You better because that's your name. You right. I'm I'm glad somebody finally recognized me. Shout out <laughs> to my mom. <laughs> but uh, but I uh, I always feel like. God put you in positions for a reason. But at the same time, he don't put you through situations that you can't handle. Right. So that's why I feel like people that's too broke to get divorced, they should be together. That's that that's part of the five percent because I feel like five percent of people is too broke to get divorced. Mm -hmm. But then the five percent that needs to be married, whether it is for the child or for the betterment of themselves. You get what I'm saying? So to like I said, to kind of end my point, like like I said, once again, everything happens for a reason. You know what right. though? What's so funny? What that? why is it so cheap to get married and cost so much to get a divorce? They need to reverse that. Nah, nah, because because you, you to get married. Too many supposed, people you wasn't supposed <laughs> to get divorced once you got married. Yeah, yeah. So that's gonna lead right into my point. I ain't never been married. But when they said what they said, we was too broke to get divorced. Uh, when you doing your vows, it said for better or for worse, right? Yep. For richer or for poor. Yep. So, and, and that also that also lets me know that that gives me like even more. Uh, I would say I look up to Tabitha even more because me as a man, shoot. If I know anything going on with you and your husband, and I want you, yeah, I'm gonna pay for the divorce. Yeah, cause I hey. I ain't tried that before. I don't yeah. mean to cut you off, but then Shannon Sharp said he did that. He paid for that. a woman divorce. He before. paid for somebody to get divorced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I offer. I got a. I got a chick, man. I've been knowing her about six years. We ain't never hooked up or nothing, but I wanted her at the time, and she was like, she went on and told me she was like. I'm separated, but I'm still legally married. I'm like, shoot, I want you. How much that divorce cost? She said 750. I said, shoot, I got 750. I'll pay that right now. You know what I'm saying? So that lets me know that even though they were going through a tough time, like bro said, they still were meant to be together. They got the money not to get divorced. But where they at? You still know what I'm saying? But like that's why that's kind of why I said I think that money probably was the issue. And the reason I say this because now they got the money, they not they not getting divorced. It's probably a lot easier because y'all know she had all that stuff come out with her and with the Williams when she talked about retiring her husband. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. And uh, so just just knowing that and the struggle to like be what she is to be basically like a country creative, mm -hmm. you know, and to be big as she is and the grind that it took. And you know, he was a police officer, and we know a lot of police officers don't make enough money, right? So yeah. that whole facet of them growing to what they is now is crazy. And like I said, it's a testament. I, I agree. I think a lot of people don't want to stick it out to see what can happen. Because I think even with everything, not just marriage, but everything, I think a lot of people just give up on themselves way too early. Yeah. 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 I'm can, I, can, I, can, I say, I'm can I say something? Yeah. Or can I add some, something to uh, Brandon Point? <clears throat> this is why I feel like it's only 5% that should get married. And I use myself in my situation, for example. Uh, I was engaged in my last relationship. Okay. And she wasn't a believer. I just say that. So she wasn't a believer. She didn't believe in religiously what I believed in. But you sitting here telling me this, but you trying to say these vows, which is we're making a promise before the person you don't even believe in. Right. Right. Mm. So how is this shit even gonna work? Uh, and, yoke. And, yeah. I, you took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Not equally yoke. But hold on, I'm gonna ask you this: Can you still make a vow without it being religious, though? Can I buy? Can I don't I, believe so. It's, no, it's in the Bible. You can, but they want you to try to convert them over to your religion. Mm -hmm. But outside of just Christianity, do you need to be can, equally yoked? Can can somebody vow to you 
and you believe them. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I, mean, I believe yeah, I that's why you person. got that's why you got different type of marriages, definitely. Yeah, you got but I'm just know what I'm it, saying. Like, no, you got no, I'm not, I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the vow specifically. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Can somebody come to you and just vow to you, or do they have or they vow had to be tied to some higher power? Are you talking about me personally? Yeah. yeah. Me personally? Oh no, you it gotta I, I think I said it on the last episode. The most important thing about me is not the wedding, it ain't the ring, it ain't the dress, it ain't the tux, it ain't nothing, the groomsmen bribing. That, that shit don't matter to me. The most important thing about marriage to me is the promise we're making before the man upstairs. Can I, can so, I get some pushback on that? Go ahead. Yeah. I think it's more. I think what you're asking is, do I need something to center me? I don't need a religion or anything to make me be a righteous, upstanding person. Right, center or ground. I, 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 I don't need nothing to tell me to be that. Yeah, I need to be that on my own mm-hmm. cognizance. Mm-hmm. But so but, I don't need a spiritual entity or any religious doctrine to say, you know, under the Christianity they say you start to, you know, be faithful, do this, submit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But oh, who, go ahead, go ahead. Mama. Who you are single is who you are in a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Can if, I give a personal pushback to that? What you pushing back on? Can I give a personal pushback? Go ahead. I'm saying what specifically you pushing back on? The religious part. Okay. I'm a child of God. So I represent him. Okay. Let me so, ask you. I'm gonna give you pushback. So this just so <laughs> just like I'm an offspring of my daddy. I I I specifically choose who, who meets my daddy. Let's so say. if I'm a child of God, what matters to, like I said, what matters to me the most in this marriage is the the commitment and the promise we're making to the person I'm a child of. Well, what you what you're ultimately saying is your God is better than a Hindu God or a Filipino woman God. When and you look yes. at the statistics, they say Filipino women are by far the most faithful women on the planet. I won't, and they don't describe don't. they don't subscribe to a Jesus Christ. So how would you say your God supersedes a woman that are are ranked across all races being the best to get? Cause that's my God. Uh, okay. My God is superior yeah, okay. over but, but, everything. But, 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 let, let me re, let me rephrase the question. I want to answer your question. Hold on, Brad. Go ahead. Let, go let ahead, me rephrase Brent. my go question. Ahead, okay. You submit to, let's say, your God that say, I I I bless you double for when you pray for me. Mm-hmm. This person don't submit to no God, and her actions blesses you tenfold. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Okay, I know. You I subscribe to a God that say I'm gonna bless you twofold because you subscribe to me. She don't subscribe to no God, but her actions bring you realistic fruit that's tenfold. Mm-hmm. Nah. You would be crazy to say your God is more superior than what she subscribed to. You know why I say my God is more superior than, than what she got going on. And the reason I say that because I'm a strong believer in staying down till I come up. So them two blessings might leave into twenty blessings. Her that. ten blessings might lead into a damn divorce. I understand that, but again, I'm going based upon what is shown as fruit. Meaning, this is what I bring fruit, to but, you, but not fruit, what I promised you, but fruit, what I but, showed you. But fruit becomes rotten at some point in time. Nah, 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 nah. But, but oh, you, what, you, uh, you know, you know something that's crazy. What's that? Y'all both talking about things of the world, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This world gonna pass us all by. Mm-hmm. So, like, when it comes to your religion, your God got to be able to. Bring forth blessings beyond earth. Right. Exactly. So what you saying, Chris, far as like the woman being fruitful, I feel you on that. Because with the woman being fruitful, that's that's earthly. And what you believe in and what you stand on is godly. So I see what he's saying, and I see what you're saying. You're saying that this, part. Yeah. You that's, know what I'm saying? I, was going yeah. like, I, I, I see. I, y'all coming from two different perspectives. Yeah, yeah, all day. Nah, you you, yeah, come, yeah, you yeah. coming from a godly perspective. You coming from a man of God, and he coming from an earthly, fruitful perspective because of what she but giving. No, but it God, ain't what God giving. It's what she giving. But, but yeah. God is in her to say, just what you show me who you are. You telling me what you are. She's showing me what is in her, right. but, which but, is God. But she ain't no. say that. Yeah, but but I, 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 it goes without saying. Yeah, That's my on, point. Man. But but but, but, but I'm saying it goes without saying that. Well, a pastor say I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna do all this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This man ain't ain't quoted a Bible scripture yet, but he walking in what this pastor right. saying. I'll be a fool to go at what he's saying and disregard what he doing. Uh, Okay, right. I that's bet. foolish. I bet the devil like brings blessings to love. That's this. foolish. I, I I'm coming back to I'm coming I'm push back. Fuck you mean? You remember your so, question? Fuck you mean? So so I'm, if, I got you. If, if okay, you, if you do got a woman that's giving you tenfold, mm-hmm. that's still one woman. Guess what that woman is? 
Your blessing from who? God. Okay. Thank you. But my argument is that you're talking about promissory notes. I'm talking about what she actually shown have proven. Okay. Let's, let's, let's take it to sports. God, I got a pull let's, out of but, but let's take it to sports. I know we're talking about girl, spiritually and reality. Let's take it to sports because we deal in reality as men with logical beings. Yes. Let's let's take it to sports. Okay. LeBron coming out. Mm-hmm. Kobe coming out the same year. Mm-hmm. You done watched Kobe and LeBron through summer camp. Mm-hmm. Kobe done put up 40 a game. Mm-hmm. LeBron said, man, when the season starts, I'm going to give you 30 a game. Mm-hmm. Who you picking? I mean, uh, I get what you're saying. Who you picking? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go with Kobe because I'm a Kobe. Why? Because it's Kobe. No, 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 no. Based upon you don't know who they are. Oh, it's, okay. Oh, I don't know. It's who rookie okay. year. Okay. I Kobe did. is showing you. I'm gonna give you. He producing. When you look at the stat sheet, mm-hmm. forty a game, forty and ten. Mm-hmm. LeBron say, I got the hype all around me. I got cameras on me. Hey, when the season start, I'm gonna produce thirty a game. I'm. A, mm-hmm. I, I'm saying this, but my my summer league, I only been scoring fifteen a game. Okay. When it's, when it's time to put the people on the flow, mm. are you putting Kobe as your starter or LeBron? I like I like oh, it. Okay. I'm asking, right. Let me answer that. Who you put? I'm putting Kobe. Why? Because he's showing he's, me he that he's showing, he's showing me that he's going for their game. Point. Now, can I, now, can I tap on to that? Absolutely. It's only one person that can put both of them there. We're it's only one person. We're <laughs> talking about what they produce they once they got there. The they got to be yeah. there to produce. Yeah. They got to be there to produce. <laughs> one on, is on. saying, one is doing. <laughs> That's the difference. One has to say it. Both of them can even one be One is in doing. There. One per- but it's only one person that can say both of them. We're not talking about that. that. We're talking about That's the- what I'm talking about. We're talking about, about the- you talking about That's promises. I'm talking about purposes. He's walking by faith and not by sight. No, we're not. We're not. Hey, I can't go to the bank and say, hey, I'm going to pay this bill on the 15th. Nah, this person be paying this bill on the 1st every what, month. What you ask about they going to get the trade line. Being, the man, being to the man, and <laughs> we'll she, get she's not a brother. <laughs> so what now? You said something like, can you believe, do you believe that this woman can be this to you even though she's not a believer? Oh, kid, do I, do I, I ask, you know, can somebody still make a vow to you without believing right. in God? Like, y'all mind? Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, light skinned people. Yeah, go ahead. Pull your mic up. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, light skinned people. They they going in. They. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I'm, I'm with. I'm. I'm gonna tell both of y'all. I understand what both of y'all are saying. Right. So, yes, I do believe that a woman can make a vow to me because, okay, let's use this analogy. If I'm providing for you and I'm doing what a man technically is supposed to do, this and that, and you're doing what you're supposed to do as a woman, you looking at me as your God if you're not a believer like that. That's what I say all the time. But You know what I'm saying? I'm your provider. To, to my son, I'm his God right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the God. But I'm his God right now. I'm making sure you get everything you need. So, yes, I do believe like a woman can make a vow to me without believing in God. But if you love me, you at least try to understand why I do. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I also get what, uh, what Chris saying, and it and, and they doing ping pong back and forth. <laughs> Chris and Chris. <laughs> if, if she bring, if I get with this woman who don't, who's not a believer, and my life shoot up and I still believe that I'm going to believe that God put this woman in my life. Because, because even, the Bible say, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and not takes favor from the Lord. I'm still a believer. She can die. She ain't got to go to heaven, but I am. Uh, because I'm still a believer. Yeah. Even um Jesus hung around people that weren't believers, so yeah, he did. Yeah. That, that was if we ever gonna go biblically, I'm just saying. But anybody else want to talk about Tara Brown? I got gonna go to the next. Uh, that it, it was just that that situation. It was meant to be. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, meant, that y'all broke as hell. Can't get no divorce. God don't want y'all. God don't want y'all get no divorce. I am sick of it. it, it, it it's God. It's God telling them how to put y'all stupid ass right here together for a reason. <laughs> Sit y'all dumb ass down. Work this shit out. And I remember like your him. vow. I like Sickness and hell. Please, somebody get to the poor. Get y'all dumb ass in there and fight that shit out here. Yeah. That, that's all that, that was. Might the, that might be the plan, though. You know, that you was, might go it. through the struggles because I haven't been through a lot of struggles, me and my wife. And this is my second wife. And me and my first wife, 
the, the things we went through, I believe she gave up too fast. Cause you know, we grow, people grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not the same person I was when we first got together and, and blah, blah, blah. But I see too many marriages, people give up and then a lot of people don't take their marriages serious. Yeah. A lot of people get want to get married. They want to have a big wedding and all that. But there's a lot of people got married at the courthouse, the courthouse. and they really in love and they yeah. honoring each other and they ain't out here cheat. I seen a lot of people get married yeah. and they already got a boo thing. The woman got a side guy and they getting married yeah. talking about they loving and everybody at the way looking at them like, she, she, got, she got a side nigga. He got this yeah, they're crazy. The side yeah. niggas yeah. actually I here. Can I, can I add but you, but you, but you know something too? too like, that's, that's the reason why I'm not married. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe in like real marriage. Like when you get married, you're making a real commitment and you need to live by that. Right. But at the same time, I tell females like when they be telling me, yo, will you marry me? Yeah, I'll marry you, but you know what I'm saying? Just like we're gonna have this big wedding, your funeral will be even bigger if you play with my heart. Right. Right. For real. Yeah. Hey, look, let me. I want to add the way he's saying, then I'm, I'm, it's gonna be quick and I'm done. You feel me? So, my homeboy doing the comedy show, he's seen somebody, he, he he seen couples like who married and here, this and that, this and that. And then one couple said, Hey, we've been married 53 years, right? right. And then he said, What's the secret? You said it. You said it. Um, when the woman else and she said we allowed each other to grow, just like you just said, right. you know, you're not the same person you were when y'all first got together and she gave up too fast. Right. Y'all, you know, maybe she didn't allow you to grow, but now she might be looking and being like, dang, look how he treat her right now. That's that's dang, that's, that's crazy. That's what's going on right now, you know. Yeah. But I, I believe in that allowing somebody to grow, but hey. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I ain't going to deal with now. Right. But let's grow together. Right. Allow yeah. each other to grow and evolve. I'm like, Cam, you know, leave me alone, you know, if you want to be single. Leave right. me alone because I got PTSD. I'm cool. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I play with my hard shit. I'm ready to tell we'll, you have big, we'll have a big, nice wedding, but your funeral will be nicer. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you think you finna play if with you me, think you finna play with me. Your funeral gonna be extravagant. Yeah. Oh man, then Cam. Yeah. Cam and then he, he did. did that. I, I like we that. looking at the new. Oh man, that's Cam. But that, hey, and it's gonna be me. That's real though, because be see, me. people play with people, people emotions, and I don't understand that. Yeah, uh, I feel we finna we finna watch another video. Hold on. Oh, that's the time. Hey, if y'all watching the video, um, uh, okay. no, that's the headphones. Oh, if y'all yeah. watching okay. the video, y'all make sure y'all okay, share yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah we, you plug them in? Yeah, we good. I, I, I thought it was the mic. Yeah. No, we good. good. Yeah, like I said, if y'all watching the video, y'all make sure y'all share the video, like the video, make sure y'all follow the new normal podcast on all platforms. Um, the next video we're going to get into is this one right here. Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna ask Alex about this when we come out of the break. What's up? I'm a stud. I like girls, but I think.